Number six, an amoeba has one times 10 to the 16 protons and a net charge of 0.3 picocoulombs. Letter A, how many fewer electrons are there than protons? All right, so it sounds like a, a strange kind of question, but let me let me ask you a, a uh, pretend, pretend we have a, a certain object here and the object has, I don't know, five positive charges. And let's also say that this object has, you know, three, let's just say negative charges, okay? My question, how many fewer electrons are there than protons? What would you tell me? Well, there's two, right? Two fewer electrons than protons. Two fewer, two fewer electrons than protons. Let me ask you another question. How many more protons are there than electrons? Well, there's two more, right? Two more protons than Electrons. So these are literally saying the same thing, right? Two fewer electrons than protons would be literally the same question as how many more protons are there than electrons? So in other words, instead of, I, I don't like the terminology here. I mean, it's fine, but it's just confusing. How many fewer electrons are there than protons can be restated to mean how many more protons are there than electrons? And if we state it that way, then this problem begins to make sense, I think, because we know that the excess charge gives us the value of the excess number of protons. And if we know the excess number of protons, then we know how many fewer electrons there are for exactly the ideas we just, the analogy we just did over here. All right, so let's do that conversion. So I'll do it over here. So 0 0.3, zero, zero, picocoulombs. So picocoulomb on the bottom, coulomb on the top, 10 to the uh, 12th picocoulombs for every one coulomb. I had to do that because I realized that there's 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs of charge for every one proton. And that's really what I want to find. I want to find the excess number of protons. In my mind, that makes a little more sense. So there's going to be 0.3 divided by 10 raised to the 12th times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. And it's 1.875. 1.875 times 10 to the 6th, I think. 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah. And that's in terms of protons. This is how many more protons there are, okay? And if that's the number of excess protons, then how many fewer electrons are there? It's the same magnitude, right? There's 1.875 times 10 to the sixth fewer electrons than protons, all right? So that should take care of that. And now let it be, if you paired them up, what fraction of the protons would have uh, no electrons? Okay, so what fraction of the protons would have uh, no electrons? So that means basically the excess number, we're, we're basically trying to now find, if you were to think about this now, right? Pretend something has, you know, so how can I explain this? So if something has this many protons, right? One times 10 to the 16. And you know that there's only this number fewer, okay? Uh, electrons than protons. Or in other words, there's that many excess protons and electrons, right? And they're asking us for the fraction of the protons would have no electrons. How do you think we would find that? We would simply take the excess number of protons, right? 1.875 times 10 to the sixth excess protons and then divide it by the total number of protons, right? Which was one times 10 to the 16 protons. And that'll tell us the fraction of the protons that have no electrons. So divide this by now one times 10 to the 16th and we get about 1.875 times 10 to the minus 10th. And then I'm not thinking about sig figs right now. You can round that if you like. But this would be the fraction, all right? That many to one. All right, guys, so that takes care of that. And let me just label this as letter B. And we're good to go, all right? Have a great day. Please remember to subscribe. See you soon. Bye.